Angela, what's going on? Uh, my question is how best to handle alcohol in the house and personal consumption when I've got a relative, uh, my son, who is an alcoholic, coming for to visit for a whole week. Huh, that's a great question. So tell me about your son. Uh, he's uh, 29. He well, he tells me we, we have a good relationship. We talk every Sunday. He tells me he's an alcoholic. He knows he's an alcoholic, and he's not willing to do anything about it. Mm. Um, I enabled him for way too many years, and the path of least resistance was then to move in with his alcoholic father, my ex-husband. Mm. He's, a, he's a good kid, and he's not figured out what he needs to do with his life yet, and he's kind of just I'm waiting for him to wake up, but it hasn't happened yet. But I love him, and he's coming for a week, and I want to see him, and I want to make sure that we have a great time. And I've always got a few bottles of liquor here in the house, but I feel like while he's here, I, we probably should put them away and not drink ourselves. Yeah, so the way you've painted that picture, the only responsible, caring thing to do in that set of circumstances is to get every shred of alcohol out of your house and to let him know before he comes that there will be no alcohol in the house and it won't be welcome in your house. Yeah. And anything short of that is you putting him in a position to fail. Yeah. Now, we're, we live smack in the middle of a downtown area where he can walk to a bar in three minutes. Right. So, and and um, here's, an, here's the, no, another I, thing. You know as well as I do, if he goes out to a bar within, at, you know, and I don't even know if they're allowed to go to bars in Seattle right now. If he does go to a bar and gets all tanked up and then comes back to your house, you're not going to have a good week. Because that'll yeah. burn that night and you'll be stressing. It'll burn all the next day because he'll be hungover and not feeling well. You'll feel ashamed. He'll feel ashamed. It'll be the whole mess. And so setting some boundaries now... That not only includes you letting him know, I'm getting rid of all the alcohol out of the house. We're going to have an alcohol-free week. But also, you cannot come to my house drunk. Yeah. If now, you, the good news is uh, Washington State is uh, – the bars are going to be closed <laughs> that's r- through through uh, the, the well into December. So I, right. I, that's actually I – had, I hadn't thought about that. Um, so can he, can he go a week without drinking? Uh, I – I don't know. If he's a true alcoholic, he might not be able to. And so a whole week at your house may be a long time. And as much as you want him there, you have to do the hard, hard work of letting that fantasy of your little boy coming for a week and having a lovely remember the times Thanksgiving. That's not going to happen. If he is a true functioning alcoholic, there's going to be some challenges that week, right? And I don't want you to set yeah, yourself I, up for heartbreak or set him up for failure, right? And so maybe it's a three-day trip or maybe it's a 48-hour trip. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea of knowing how it might go sideways, but I hear you. What does are, – are you, are you remarried? Yes. What does your husband think about him coming to visit? Oh, he's fine with it. He's, as my husband always says, we're rooting for him. We want him to succeed, mm-hmm. you know. We, That's awesome. um And we talked about this, and we, we, we definitely both agree not having alcohol in the house is the right thing to do, and not drinking that week ourselves is the right thing to do, because we do love him, and yeah. my, my new husband loves him. I mean, he's, you know, he's, we want to help him, That's but awesome. we don't want to enable him. There you go. And here's the thing, he's... He's blessed to have somebody like you that cares about him. And it sounds like your new husband's a saint, too. Good for him. Um, I've met a number of new husbands, second husbands over the years that don't want anything to do with their spouses, adult kids, and so good for him. And here's what I think is going to make the whole week much better, and that is you s- sitting down and writing these out for yourself and then calling your son mm-hmm. and then just letting your son know I want to set up the best week possible for all of us. You tell me all the time you're an alcoholic. I want to know how long you can go without drinking because I'm going to take the alcohol out of the house. I want us to have a fun, connected, sober time and be ready, Angela, for him to blow his top and to throw a temper tantrum and be mad and say, you're not getting rid of all the 
alcohol. It's going to be a terrible Thanksgiving. Or I don't want you to have to do all that. He might do that. And if he does, he does. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully he says, wow, that's awesome. My parents love me and they care about me. And, you know, that's a long stretch for a true alcoholic. And maybe he's just running his mouth a little bit about being an alcoholic. He may be, he likes to drink. He likes to drink with his old man. Um, but he, he yeah. may be just fine going a week, right? But I think the, yeah. the true adult integrous thing to do is to call them on the front end and set up the ground rules, whatever they may be. And letting him know, yeah, hey, I'm taking all the booze out of the house. Yeah, he's been pretty, pretty good at understanding. Um, I, you know, have not given him any money for almost a year now. Mm-hmm. I'm not enabling him like I was, and he, he actually accepts that, and we have a good relationship. So That's awesome. I feel like he'll understand why I'm doing it because I, I do use uh, "I love you too much." To, it's, it, it's too painful for me. I mean, I, yeah. I'm the adult child of an alcoholic. I had an alcoholic ex-husband. Now I have an alcoholic son. That's right. So I'm, I know I can be oversensitive, and I need to watch myself about setting boundaries in a kind of organized, non-emotional way. Um, there you go. And let, he's, been, let, he's let, understood it. Let yeah. your new husband, let him know that this is hard for you. I know you already have, but let oh, him yeah. know, hey, I'm going to set yeah. some boundaries down. And yeah. People who are true addicts, they will hear you intellectually, but emotionally they will they will say things to you and they will fight you and they will kick you, not not physically, but they will fight and kick and scream because their their inner child is hurting now. It's hurting, right? It's yelling. Yeah. yeah. So set yeah. those boundaries. Yeah. Feel good about them. Understand that you're caring about him, but do the next right hard thing, which is to let him know ahead of time. And understand that any time you set up a boundary, there is a chance that other people respond poorly to that boundary, and he may throw a temper tantrum and not come. He may say, if you're going to do all this, then I'm just going to stay here with that. And your whole week's going to be blown, and you're going to call, and you're going to say, Deloney, you told me to call him, and I wish I hadn't of, because this sucks, and he didn't show up. And I'm going to be sad with you, but it still would be the right thing to do. Letting him know, hey, you can't come to my house drunk. If you leave my house, if you sneak booze into my house, I'm going to ask you to leave. We're going to have an alcohol-free week. I want to set us all up to be successful. And if you can't go that long, I totally understand. I love you. Let's only, let's only spend three or four days together. Good for you, Angela. I appreciate you trying, no matter how old your son gets. You know, he's almost 30. You're still trying to figure out ways to love him. You're still trying to figure out ways to no longer empower him. Good for you. And you also recognize the one heartbreaking thing about addiction and loved ones is that they have to choose. We can't do it for them. We can't make other people get well. And that sucks. It's so it makes us feel powerless, right? But thank you so much, Angela, for the call. Let me know how it goes. I want to know how the Thanksgiving holiday goes. Um, man, we will be rooting for you.